Hello fellow crafters, it has been a long time since I have done the last tutorial video about some body part sculpting and that's why we are now doing an arm version of um, that. Uh, right now I will uh, show you how to create a basic muscle mass for the hero or the villain on the bulky side. I want to exaggerate the muscles for it to be more easily remembered, but you can always shrink it down or make it larger. First, as you can see, we have created a rod of clay. I just bent it on the, this neutral position and I did bicep uh, for the first part. Then I'm going to add some tricep uh, muscle heads, uh, the larger one on the back and the smaller piece on the side. After you can start adding some forearm muscles, which to be honest uh, I'm not very familiar with, I just add the bulges where I think it looks more menacing and bulky so to say. At the same time I now start working on the shoulder muscles. There are three heads, which separation of which can be seen or larger uh, superheroes and villains. Uh, the frontal part, the middle one and the back portion and that's why I'm creating it in these uh, three different uh, mm, sections. I'm creating some rudimentary uh, hand in order to give this arm more of a finished look and uh, better representation. Details will be veins. You can add vascularity on the characters you desire. They are quite prominent for uh, like larger monster-like creatures, Hulk and so on, Bane, uh, which uh, really uh, have uh, shown veins in their comic book adaptations quite prominently. If you are doing veins on clothing, of course, you need to blend them much thoroughly. But you, if you are doing it on the naked body, it is much easier and you can uh, give it more of a prominent look.
And that's it. That's how you do a rudimentary arm, muscular one. You can always add more muscles on this track them in order to create a character of your liking. Hope it was uh, uh, helpful and you learned something from it. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.